Hello all, in this video we are going to discuss about limitations of shallow copy. In previous video we have discussed about shallow copy and how shallow copy is working. In this video we are going to see about limitations of shallow copy. So let us take a class called address underscore range and it has two properties called s underscore address and e underscore address of 32 bit size and these are of bit data type and here we are ending the class and we are declaring other class called packet and we have two properties called address and data of same 32 bit of bit data type and here we are taking a handle of address underscore range class called ad underscore r so ad underscore r is the handle for the class address underscore range and we are creating object for this handle ad underscore r so this class packet has two properties as well as object so this class address underscore range so address underscore range class has two properties and one class object. So let us declare handles for the class packet called pkt underscore one and pkt underscore two we have declared two handles for the class packet and we are creating object for the class pkt underscore one so when we create object a memory is created for the handle pkt underscore one like this so pkt underscore one will contain two properties and one object and one class object so pkt underscore one is consisting of two properties and one object like this address and this object ad underscore r has s underscore address and e underscore address as properties so this object contains s underscore addr and e underscore addr now here we are doing shallow copy like this pkt underscore 2 equal to new of pkt underscore 1 so a memory for pkt underscore 2 will be created like this pkt underscore 2 is created a new memory is created for pkt underscore 2 and the contents from pkt underscore 1 are copied to pkt underscore 2 so pkt underscore 2 will consist of two properties but the object so a separate memory is created for these two properties in pkt underscore 2 but in case of but here the object is not copied here pkt pkt underscore 1 has this memory and two properties and one object so this pkt underscore 1 has these properties in separate memory as and this pkt underscore 2 has these properties and other memory whereas in case of object in case of object these two handles will point to the same object like this so pkt underscore 1 and pkt underscore 2 will share the same object so in shallow copy what happens is the internal objects share the same memory the internal objects are not created here here the two packets the two packet handles that is pkt underscore 1 and pkt underscore 2 will point to the same object same object whereas in case of property a separate memory is created for two handles so due to this any changes which are ch made to this object with any handle like for suppose if we make any change to the object with the handle pkt underscore 2 then these changes will be reflected in the handle pkt underscore 1 since object is not copied in shallow copy internal objects shares the same memory so this is the disadvantage of shallow copy for example here packet class has the properties of bit type and object type after the shallow copy addr data and handle to ar were copied as it is shallow copy any changes 
made to pkt underscore two dot ar will reflect in pkt underscore one dot ar because pkt underscore two dot ar and pkt one underscore one dot ar will point to the same object. For example, this addr has two handles. This addr object has two properties called s underscore addr and e underscore addr and pkt underscore 1 and pkt underscore 2 these two handles has reference to this handle addr they both share the same object so if we want to change any property with the help of second handle pkt underscore 2 dot s underscore addr is equal to 40. Let's suppose by default s underscore addr has a value of 20 and if you are changing it to 40 with the help of pkt underscore 2 then the change is reflected in pkt underscore 1 also. So s underscore addr will be changed to 40 in pkt underscore 1 object also. So if any changes made by pkt underscore 2 handle will be reflected in pkt underscore 1 also. So this is the disadvantage of shallow copy. Thank you for watching this video.